Second, I will bring back free speech in America because it's been taken away. They've taken away your free speech, and the fake news is a threat is a threat to, to this country. They are just horrible. These are horrible people. Not everyone. I mean, I know most of them up there. Some are good. Hi, hello, Brian. You know, some are good, and most of them are just absolutely terrible human beings. They know what's going on. You know what they'll write today? But look at this crowd. It goes from corner to corner. It's a ma- I flew over, and I said, that's a lot of people down there. And you know what they'll say today or tomorrow when they write? Donald Trump spoke today in Wisconsin before a small crowd of people, small, a small gathering, a small gathering of people. They are just so bad. I don't know. It's, uh, you know, it's really hard to turn it back around unless they used to be like the police force. They'd write the truth, but they're no longer the police force. They're the police force for opposite. They're a police force for bad. They're bad. They're bad people. And they're very dishonest. And a lot of people don't understand When you're a politician like these people, like me, like others, and you happen to be a Republican or somewhat conservative, uh, they write just the opposite of what the facts are. And if you're driving a cab, if you're an accountant, if you're a lawyer, if you're something, you know, other than that, you don't know the details. When we know the facts and then the story gets written the exact opposite of what it is, you start to lose faith in the press, I will tell you. But I will sign an executive order banning any federal employee from colluding to limit speech, and we will fire every federal bureaucrat who is engaged in domestic censorship under the Harris regime. We will do that. 